So when you're looking at three-dimensional space and you're translating that space to a two-dimensional surface in a drawing or a painting, it helps to find both the positive and the negative spaces, the negative shapes uh, in, a, in a picture in order to kind of puzzle the picture plane together. So when we're talking about positive space, we're talking about the subject matter, the, the, the object, the branch. When we're talking about negative space, we're talking about the space behind, around, through. So I chose to do a close-up of this branch so I could find those little negative shapes through and around the positive sh the space. And if I can look and just isolate those, those shapes and draw or paint them, I can actually draw or paint the positive shape without even having to think about that subject. So in positive and negative space, your goal is to, to translate what's behind and what's in front, what's in the background, what's in the foreground to a two-dimensional plane. And so isolating and seeing negative shapes in addition to positive shapes can really help you do that successfully. So when doing a negative space drawing or painting, it really helps to have a viewfinder. Um, a viewfinder allows you to find a composition where you're breaking down the positive and negative spaces about 50-50. When you can frame the negative spaces up against the edge of that, that viewfinder, you're able to see the distinct negative shapes a lot more easily than if there was no viewfinder there. So having your viewfinder allows you to not only create an interesting composition, it helps you to really see the negative spaces and the negative shapes and how they relate to that, that plane, that, that frame. So what I've done is I've taken a close-up photograph of my branch and I've composed it in such a way that I can have some of these negative spaces, these spaces behind through and around the subject, the positive, I can have those shapes hitting the edges of my viewfinder, in this case the camera, to really, really see those shapes and really, really capture them in the drawing. I've actually measured the photograph on the camera itself and it comes out to be two and a quarter inches tall by three inches wide and what I did in my drawing is I doubled that so this is actually four and a half by six four and a half inches by six inches it's like a postcard size drawing and then my focus was just really looking at the negative shapes how they relate to the edges of the drawing how they relate to other shapes and just focusing in on those not thinking about leaves at all just those shapes and kind of puzzling it together and, and seeing negative space can really help make a, a drawing have really accurate proportions because if you're struggling with the subject matter, if you're struggling with the positive shapes, you can kind of take a time out every now and then and just focus on the shapes around and they are always abstract shapes and kind of put those together in a puzzle-like way to really make your drawings have accurate proportions. And um, I've also shaded the negative shape to really show those, those um, negative spaces more solidly.